Hello everyone, it is Thursday, April 13th. Of course, new comic book day was yesterday and I have been super, super busy. And so let's jump right into the books. And then I have at the end of this, I have, it's not so much going to be a rant, but gonna be more of an observation and a thought process that I put into something. And then I just wanna kinda of get your feedback on it as a viewer. So first thing up was the variant cover, Deadpool versus Punisher. Scooby Apocalypse number 12, which I am enjoying tremendously. Jungle Fantasy number 8. That's a nasty cover, so I'm not going to show that too much. Wonder Woman Rebirth 20, cover A. Cover B, kind of like cover A. Flash Rebirth 20. Detective 954, cover A. Cover B. Suicide Squad 15. This is cover A. I'll show cover B in a second. Cover B is the one I think is the better of the covers. And this was the regular cover of Deadpool vs. Punisher. Walking Dead 166. I showed some Zombie Tramp last week. I picked up the Easter specials. They come out with a good job with Halloween specials, Christmas special, New Year's Day special. This was the Easter special. I couldn't find. I finally found one here. Limited to 2,500 copies, which we've discussed in the past with the Zombie Tramp covers as it relates to Action Lab. Kind of limited when you talk about all the states and people worldwide. So I was happy to find that one. Weapon X. This is the Suicide Squad 15, the cover that I enjoyed. Spider-Man Deadpool 16. Batman Rebirth 20, cover A. Batman Rebirth 20, cover B. And then the other ones, of course, I got a couple of extra, I got an extra copy of the uh, Deadpool versus Punisher variant, which I thought was really nice because as you know, Deadpool is Marvel's big go-to right now, them, and they're trying to maximize it out. So uh, so that was pretty much what I picked up. Uh, a big week, but not a big week. Most of the books were pretty much in the $2.99 range, which I appreciated. Of course, Marvel always throws the $3.99, $4.99 books out, and that's just the way they are. So we'll go with that. So here's my little observation. So take it for whatever you want on that. So... As you know, uh, a couple weeks ago, or last week, Marvel came out with X-Men Gold. This is the Diamond Retailer Summit variant with Deadpool on the cover. Sad, because he's not getting an Oscar. And I have some of those, and of course, the Scotty Young variant. And I didn't buy a regular cover, because I just was not interested in X-Men Gold. And at the shops I went to, they had stacks of X-Men Gold that no one was buying. And then recently, the story came out that the artist, one of the people working on the book, had put in some anti-Semitic imagery, imagery or images in the book and storyline uh, that now is an outrage and an uproar. And Marvel has announced that, you know, they fired him from the book, even though he's still going to be on 2, 3, and 4. They're not going to use them after that. So if you don't want to use them, don't use them on two, three, and four. First, that's just me. But you're going to do what you're going to do. And this is what got me thinking about that. Artist comes out and says, oh, my career is ruined. And, you know, Marvel, we're not going to use them, but we're going to use them on two, three, and four. So whatever. And then I started thinking, you know, for months now, I've been talking about how DC, Action Lag, Boom Studios, Image have come out with really good stories. And people are tired of that $3.99, $4.99, $5.99 Marvel price point where Rebirth came out at $2.99, <clears throat> Walking Dead's been $2.99. Uh, some of the action life stuff is cheap, but like Black Math Studios, Boom Studios, good storylines, Image, good storylines, limited storylines. Just look at like God Country, uh, you know, as a perfect example of a limited book that came out by Image. Uh, the way Zombie Tramp sells for Action Lab because they're limited in the 2,000 to 2,500 copy range uh, for the storyline. And Marvel, over the years, over the last few years, has tried gimmicks to get people to buy their books. You had the Gay Wedding cover that failed flat on its face. Marvel thought that was going to be the big moneymaker for them, and they failed. 
Then they came out with the rebooting of the characters, female Iron Man, female Thor, uh, female Wolverine. And that has not been embraced by the general comic book base. And even Marvel came out and said, it was a mistake to do that. It didn't work the way we wanted to because fans are pretty stuck in their ways as it relates to who their characters are. So they have to think of another way to make money. And then I started thinking about this. It is my belief, as bad as it is, that Marvel knew about what was going on in this book and put it out there. Because what happens is, once the story came out, the books flew off the shelf. The first day it came out, even the second, third, fourth day after that, the books were on the shelf. Thick stacks of books. You know, some shops, 20, 25, 30 copies sitting on the shelves because people just weren't interested and weren't buying it. And then the story comes out and you go to those shops and all the books are gone because everybody wants it. The prices on eBay are going up. This book here is selling in the $22 to $35 range on eBay. This book here. That's crazy. But it got Marvel exactly what they wanted. Their name in the papers, their name in the industry, people talking about Marvel, people buying the Marvel Gold Book, and now they're talking about the second print, and then there's going to be a third print, because everybody's going to want the book because of it. And this is my problem. This is what I want to know. Is it right for a company to do something like that to make money? Is it smart business, or is it being reaching for a life vest because you're drowning? It's because you're drowning. This is a desperation move. That's a desperation move to do something like that. That, that shows no class at all. You want people to buy your books? Put out better books. Put out better stories. Don't change what works. Iron Man works. Thor works. Wolverine works. Look at the movie. Although the X-23 character is a great character and she is going to be a strong character. I know they're going to have a movie about her. They're going to do a spinoff on that. Don't change what works. It's worked for all these years. Everybody wants to be politically correct with these characters. And then what happens is your story starts to suffer. People lose interest. They go to other storylines. They go to other, you know, whatever. And now you get desperate and say, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? You know, it's like a, you know, a bad strip club who, you know, has ugly dancers and they got to give you two lap dances for the price of one to get people in the door. The concept is the same. You want better company? You want money? You want the fans to talk about you? You want to be positive? Put out good stories. Put out good artists. The stuff is suffering. Marvel is the modern day oversaturation of a comic show that we talked about in the last video <clears throat> only because their product sucks. They put Deadpool on everything. Now I understand Deadpool has a small tie in with the X-Men. Okay, they use it in the movie, whatever. But they put Deadpool on everything. Everything. Why you gotta put them on everything? Because that's the only thing they got that's making money. Okay, it's the only thing they got's making money. So, if Marvel did that and they knew about it, shame on Marvel. So, I mean, I'm real tired. I've been real busy. I've had some personal things going on um, that I'm dealing with. Um, but I wanted to get this out there. And you guys may or may not agree with it. I think this is what's going on. And I'm usually pretty spot on with things like this. Because, again, I just ain't going to say something just to say it. I have a deep feeling about certain things, and this is something I feel very strongly about that Marvel did that on purpose to get some sales up and to get their, their books back into the collector's lips. So um, there's enough with that. Um, I want to thank everybody who made a thousand subscribers possible. Um, I broke the thousand subscriber mark last week. Um, it's great. I get great comments, a lot of positive feedback. I've had a couple of customers come in the last couple of days. Uh, who say, hey, I watch your videos, and the first thing we want to do when we came to Vegas, we want to come see you. I appreciate that. 
the new space is going really well. It is a slow process. Um, I am going to start getting new comic books in for sale. Um, I have a deal I've worked out with somebody um, to where I'm being able to get those books direct and it's going to be financially feasible for me to do that now uh, because I don't have to buy X amount of money. I can say I want two of these, one of these, three of these, four of those, and leave it at that. Um, I have a thing I'm going to put at the front of the store. It's going to have the new books on it. So, um, again, like I said, my goal for this shop, Arkham Comics and Collectibles here in Las Vegas, is to be meaningful three years from now, four years from now, five years from now, and not closing its doors six months from now like a lot of shops are doing. There's a lot of shops struggling because they're, over, they're overextending themselves. I'm not overextending myself. I'm doing very small. I can financially do this without hurting myself. So that's my next step. So, uh, you know, again, I appreciate all the support. And you don't have to agree with me. That, that's what makes this community great. And I say that all the time. You do not have to agree with me. Um, I will try to do another update on the store to kind of show you where I'm at. Uh, with it, but that might not be for a little bit, but I will do another video. Um, again, if you have a topic you want me to cover, send me a question, put it in the comments. Um, I try to get back on the comments as quick as I can, but again, I've been going through a little bit of stuff right now. Uh, nothing really bad, just trying to get caught up on some things and, and take care of a couple of personal things. So um, that's where I'm at. And again, I appreciate all the support. Um, I hope you liked the video, but if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. I hope you all have a great, great night.